Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Dr. Science. We're back again. I'm here with Tronzilla. How's it going, man? Yo, what's up? What's going on? And uh, this week, he is here to tell me why should I play Tekaman Blade? All right. Well, first off, he has really good damage really good normals uh his life is like above average he just has so many options where certain other characters probably won't cover all those options he's just good all around all right sick so the way we get started usually is we talk about his mobility see he does have he has two jumps and he can dash forward backwards you can't fly back and press it back. You have to jump to fly back. His dash is a little different from others because it kind of has a little, a slight startup. But mm -hmm. once he goes, you can kind of see how fast he goes. The lighter you press it, he kind of goes shorter. But if you press it harder, you can see that he'll go longer. Mm -hmm. So his ground dash doesn't really have like a direct like ground dash like other characters that you can just kind of go on the ground he kind of floats upward so when you're doing this you kind of want to use it for like so you can do like his life so that's why he's kind of unique he kind of just goes back all right cool um well next let's talk about his normals what do his normals look like all right so starting off we have his light it's really fast and then he has this and then it's heavy. So this is crouching light. This is crouching medium and it's crouching heavy. So some of his really good normals. He has if you do back H. That one is really good because it has an auto guard on it. So anything that's like in his high range or above him will go through. So the way how you get around that is uh, low. Three, Pretty two, far one. <laughs> There it is. Uh, there you go. It. Um, it can actually negate a mega crash. There, there you go. go. All right. And cool. so, yeah, jump normals. Dramas. All right. So we have his light. We have his medium. And we have his heavy, which is his probably one of his best aerial moves because it hits twice. Oh. So you can see, and then you can cancel it. If you're low enough, sometimes you just get one hit. Okay, so he does have a stab. So I yeah. got the stab. So that's his down H. So then let's talk about his specials. The specials, I'm going to start off showing you his different spears. So one is the light. Mm -hmm. It's just a regular projectile. And then he has an anti air one. I can jump. Is, has... that, is that the medium one? Yeah. So that will grab you like that. And then he has his heavy, which is a slower one on the ground. But that one grabs as well. Yes! All those in the air too, right? What angles do they go at? So the light one, it goes downward. So that one is good if they're trying to go below you. Mm -hmm. Then he has this one that grabs at a horizontal. Okay. And then he has the diagonal down grab one. Really good for different situations. They come out really fast. Like you can see, like comes out pretty fast. And then he has a couple of charge moves. So one is his light. You just hold down. Yes. And then he also has a medium. Same thing. Good. And then he has heavy. Whereas heavy, they take you across. You could use that for combos. And then we also have the pinwheel. Nice. So that one is core circle back with heavy. And then he has a light one where he'll go very short. So medium one is kind of good to cross up close by. They can do cute things like... Were there any other specials that's for getting? I mean, I think the, the mash is a special, right? Okay, yeah. So we got the light one. We got the medium. And then we got this one. Almost like Chun-Li lightning legs, kind of. I'll say one cool thing that you can do uh, with his horizontal grab is you can type in here. Yeah, all of them can be targeted. 
Uh, I usually like the horizontal one just because it covers the range if they're coming in at you. Let's just talk quick because we kind of went quick down the specials. Like, what what are they good for? We talked about like the the tiger kneeing for these for zoning, right? Yeah, um, those are good for zoning. This is you said kind of for cross ups. Can you can you link off of this? You can. Cool. Yeah. You can link off of it. This move is really good. The light one's good to do as like an anti-air or like beginning of the round if they like press something. The medium and heavy one are mostly used for like combos. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, like light starts up faster and the other ones like last longer and do more hits, right? Yeah, the charge light one is really good. So let's say you do a launch. So it looks like you're unsafe. But if you do the light charge, you're actually safe after if you do that. All right, sick. Um, let's talk about his supers next. So, he has one super, which is, uh, I think it's a dragon punch. So he can, he goes like this. So that super kind of goes out an angle. Uh, anyways, I'm going to show you the good super because I don't need to show you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go over his other super, which is his really good super. So here we go. It's really good because it comes out really fast. You can actually hit it out with the normal. But the thing is, if you miss time your normal, you will get hit. It's not even miss time. Like here, do it right now. I'm just gonna mash light here. Yeah, I, it doesn't even start to come out. It's so fast. All right, try hitting a button when I do it right here. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna do it right now. <laughs> <laughs> you saw yeah. my button start to come out. It's really yeah. good. It's not invincible, but it's just the hitbox is really good and it's super fast. There's a lot of characters that can pressure you. So what's really cool about Blade, if you're in these certain strings, there's actually gaps in these certain strings where you can push block and just do crash. So certain characters that seem like they have pressure going on and you can't get out blade can just level one and just get out of there for free pretty much it's really hard to punish too just do it just and then block, block after it, it. block after it. when he it's lands ready. he's like mostly safe like the best way to do it is just like launch if you have a character you can like pick off characters like with their combos when they're in midair then you'll be able to combo off, but if you're just going for a ground combo at trying to punish him, Blade will fall out. All right, so level three, I'm just gonna do a, if you're out of range, it does this. If you ever see that and you've done that, that's not how you wanna do level three. That means you messed up. <laughs> so a close part, you get a cool animation. Anime. That's pretty cool. And you can do it in the air too, right? Yep, you can do it in the air. So you could do like, that was pretty simple. Yeah. Most of the time, you want to combo in the air. And the the only way to combo in the air is to off a spear. So the light spear. That's how you combo it in the air. Show me what his assist looks like. Assist, okay. So his assist looks like this. Yeah, and uh, tell me a little bit about his assist. assist how good okay. is it? What you can use it for? I use it kind of more as like a DP. You can figure out combos with your character. Uh, but usually I, I use it more as a DP, so it knocks him away and then I can just kind of reset up. So assist, let's talk okay. about combos. Why don't you show me a no meter, no baroque B and B for Tekaman Blade? Come on, you have it. Uh, what about how do you use baroque in a combo with Tekaman Blade? That's all good, man. You got Excellent. I do that for all mines because you have to be, you have to be at the correct height. Otherwise, when you're coming down, you're gonna miss your charge H. 
All right, uh, well, how about next you show me how do you use meter in a combo? You got this. Uh, yeah. Why don't you show a uh, how to use three meters then? Anime. How about next, what do you think is um, Tekaman Blade's like general game plan and how do you think he should play as a character? So Blade is really good because he has the options to be able to go in your face or play keep away. If you land the hits and all that you can convert it into big damage. Even his keep away like eventually that damage will add up. Blade hits like, he already hits hard so imagine it with higher broke so he just gonna hit even harder. So one combo that you can do after you auto guard something, you can do something like that. So I land a guard, and if they're close enough, you can just convert like three more hits into level one super, and actually just pretty good damage. All right. So what role do you think he plays in a team? Do you think he's like a point, an anchor? Uh would say he's a point character most of the time i would always have my point uh there are like some matchups where like i probably would not start him out but i'd say 95 percent of the time you're gonna start him off on point he has a lot of life he can do the damage and he's one of those characters where once you start going and the player doesn't have an answer you can wipe their whole team pretty much with just Blade. All right, um, and you play him with Morrigan. Um, why do you play him with Morrigan, and what do you think makes a good partner for Tekken Man Blade? Morrigan's projectile, so <laughs> it applies pressure. You can be doing stuff for Blade where you may not have Baroque to be safe, but Morrigan's fireball can help keep you safe. You can use it for cross-up combos. Another good assist um, is Tekka Man. You can use that to grab people out, which is a good assist for Tekka Man Blade as well. Pretty much any character that can kind of throw out a projectile on the screen to either let Blade combo off of or keep him safe in unsafe situations um, are really good. Nice, man. What do you say we uh, play a three out of five set and you can show off some of the things you've been talking about? All right, let's do it. Let's do it. So when I first started playing him, it seemed like his ability was kind of weird and he was clunky. But once you start playing him more, you start realizing that he's really not that clunky. Um, just be sure if you're learning his character, you know, and you have questions, you know, if you're in the Discord, ask uh, any Blade players to help you out with anything, matchups. Um, uh, this character is really cool, you know, there's not really a whole lot of Blade players that play anymore. Uh, you don't really see too many of them anymore in tournaments, so it'd be cool if other players start, you know, gaining an interest to pick up a character. Um, definitely if uh, any questions or combos or anything, there's plenty of people that can help you out with the layout of how to do combos. Um, if you're playing them online, uh, in the video, I do the kind of easier combos I was showing you because it's harder to use combos online. But uh, you can practice all this up offline and you know, you get the hang of it. So, yeah, that's that's Tekka Man Blade. He hits hard like a truck. <laughs>